starting a new job, right? When you're starting a new position, a new job, in addition to things that I spoke about in the past, such as hiring your boss, right? And I'll link that somewhere here and researching the company, the organization you're joining, research their reputation, their products, their services, their financials, uh, their goals, strategy, overall leadership team. Once you've done all that due diligence you, and you're here, right? you've entered, you've joined an organization. It is really important to do several things. One, meet as many people as you can. I know it's a little bit more difficult nowadays during the pandemic and it's mostly Zoom and videos and phone calls and so forth, but that's fine, right? Get as much face time as you can with people across your team those who are internal clients and partners of your team, and those that you serve at a broader scale. Learn as much as you can, listen, ask questions, and put it all together, right? Take notes, and then at some point, spend some time to extrapolate major findings into these patterns or into these trends that will be useful and beneficial to you as you make decisions moving forward. So make sure that your own experiences, your own knowledge, your own Kind of guiding forces are obviously part of that decision making process but the culture of the place that you're in is extremely important right that's why you need to meet as many people as you can because they are the culture of that place so you need to understand what levers you can leverage and pull and which ones you probably should stay away from as you move forward next thing to do um all along the way actually is to really communicate be very clear be honest transparent with your colleagues with your team members with your greater partnering community so to speak as to how do you see things which is the direction that you're willing to take what are perhaps some of the things that may be non-negotiable in your realm and where can you be of value to them right once you've done all of that and this is, you know, I've started a new position. I'm here in almost, almost two months, not quite just yet. Uh, but when you start it, you meet as many people as you can. You communicate, you build your shape and build and shape and guide your vision and direction collaboratively. But then you really need to focus on the priorities, right? You need to select generally three major areas. I mean, you could do two to five, but I tend to do three. And focus all your effort and energy in support and service of those three major components, these three major directions. Well, one direction, but three major areas. Right? For us, for me, it's focusing on the overall university outcomes, university direction, university strategy. How do I help make that become a reality? I'm one of many people engaged in that process, and I want to make sure that I'm doing my part, that my team, that our team is doing their part. Two... Really look at different ways across the entire university to improve digital capabilities, right? How do we all do a bit better this year than the year before? We're not going to be able to transform overnight in every area. We're not going to be able to go from, you know, 10 miles an hour to 200 miles an hour in three months. I understand that. But look for opportunities to integrate, improve, streamline, reduce friction across the entire organization. And three is build the overall IT maturity and innovation cycle and processes so that your team is not only improving everybody else in their functions in their areas but it's actually taking a leadership role in reimagining how certain things are done across your business so some of the observations of the last couple of months some of these observations i've had um, in years past as i was starting new positions they have been crystallized over the last two months so i figured i would put them together in a video and share them with you. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts below on the topic I just covered. Have a great day.